Hello there, today we're going to continue working with webs.com to evaluate um, how easy it is to use this website builder. So um, we're going to start with editing the website and the last video I recorded showed me adding in the content for the website and um, I didn't do any formatting to it and I didn't put any pictures in so I think right now what I'm most interested in doing is figuring out how to get um, the text to look more like the site that I'm working with here so instead of home we want it to say well it says welcome right here so it's got home up there and um, we have large headers and let's see if we can control this a little bit so say that we have a specific font that we want and in this case this font is formatted let's see if we actually if it'll actually tell us what it is formatted to it may not hold on one moment okay so our mystery font is we're just gonna go with a serif font instead of a lot of these are sans serif fonts meaning they don't have the little feet but something like this looks kinda similar to what we have going on over here and size wise we can do this and then it's bold right now and we don't want it bold I don't know if we can get rid of the bold bold, no bold strike through underlying italics and no bold it does not appear yeah, I'm using the toolbar for more editing options So increasing and decreasing font size is really nice, but if I want to increase or have this bold or not bold, I can. But right here, I clearly can't. So something that I would really like to see that I'm not seeing is I want the next font, crimson text, to be crimson text as well. and I would like it to be the exact same font size as that right there like it is here but I don't get to find that out so that I'm not a fan of I would like to know what I'm dealing with here and uh, might be just a little large there we'll try that so I'm going to go through and set all of my headers. Oh wait, I have bio. Hold on, I'll just go and order the drop downs here. So we have bio. And Lisa bio and then we have bio up here I wonder if I can change well I don't think I've included the testimonials it said testimonials on the other one and I did not include all of that it's something I missed I must have not seen all of this before so we're gonna copy this and add it in and put paragraphs after so the goal of this video is just to get this text formatted as close to um, the original site we're working off of the assumption that we are really happy with the design that someone made for us I mean I realize it's a live site in this case 
but um, we would like to set up our website to look like that. So we're trying to get things as close as possible. So with the blog and the settings, I, it doesn't look like I can customize that font. It looks like it is the way it is. And then I've got sessions and treatment. So I'm going to go ahead and set the rest of these headers. You get the point with all of this. I've got to go through each page and do this and I cannot copy over a style. Okay, so I've decided to get rid of this first header here since we have this header on each of the pages and on some of them that's the only thing I have. Okay, so I'm also going to work on setting up the, um, the sidebar here and it's going to be the same process and unfortunately if I want to just set in these as headers well appointments and Lisa I am again going to have to choose this font and go through and select each one of these without being able to um, oops without being able to uh, uh, make a, you know, like copy a style. And I'm noticing right now that I would really like for this to be that font, but I'm not having luck here just changing this one thing to the font it looks like the whole thing has to be the font. So I'm going to go through and at least change appointments, but that's disappointing that I can't get I can get that to be bold, but I can't get it to go to a different font without apparently selecting perhaps the whole thing. I'm not sure. Hold on. I'll try without boring you with the video. Okay, so I was looking around some more <laughs> to see if there was anything I could do to help um, make this look more like her site and I found that if I click this theme button over here and hold on I clicked it a moment ago and and it worked I'm gonna pause and see if I can get back to it okay so I had to go out to my dashboard and come back in and edit so apparently I froze things up, but now if I want to, um, I can work with overall settings, like we have um, a global color for the font, which, you know, oh, this is the global color for the theme, oh, that's really cool. So if I want to change this to more of her orange color, then I should be able to just take the slider and get more in this orangish range and um, I'm not going to be um, quite as fussy as I would like to be simply because um, I would like this video to be under 20 minutes right so if I knew my exact exact hex color um, it looks like I could go ahead and specify it so we'll just go with some strange version of orange here and um, body copy um, or wait is this the body background color it looks like I can get her body background color to be in the green range and in this particular case it's really rough so if you don't know your exact color, you're going to be dragging around in here for a while. Okay, so I went ahead and I sampled the colors from um, 
from her her Photoshop or well from a screenshot and then I'm going to see what this does if this effect oh this is affecting the actual nav bar and the hover instead of it being um, blue we want the hover to be that red or the orange and then body um, we want the text here to be white and titles we also want them to be white and here it's finally giving me a font size so if I wouldn't have known already what was going on I could have changed the font you know like now here's where I would set this and let's see titles not entirely sure what this is going to do but we're going to set it anyway and that looks you know I mean I realize it's not this but we're at least getting closer so um, and then we have hold on we have um, the rollovers here which uh, she actually doesn't have um, doesn't have them change color and well, I think I'm going to though oh no I'm not that's terrible <sighs> no one will read that so we'll let's go ahead and make the rollover on these that orange color so now if you roll over these it'd be nice to be able to set an underline on that and the header it looks like I should be able to change well this is navigation um, and subheader we have background colors yeah I don't see a place to put in my um, my headers for for this right here which I would really really like but somehow it's taking on this green which I want for the background but not for up here so let me see if I apply here and then I go in here I guess I'm going to have to set the color Um, manually up there so I'll have to go through and override what it's trying to do but anyway so within probably about 20 minutes because I did spare you the gory details of some of the more repetitive work um, I've been able to get her colors in here uh, I'm not entirely sure how to change the background but um, I, I was mostly focused at, focused focused wow on the uh, on the font today so um, I was able to get a little bit further by changing those background colors out which helped get the font to where it needs to be oh no and then we have this which is its own thing okay so that's not good um, we kinda want it to stay consistent all the way across so it looks like I have a little more work to do getting the um, the blog to be formatted similarly and that makes me wonder if um, the photo gallery is going to be a different color as well let's see yeah unfortunately with this I would have to go through and I would have to set the background colors for the photo 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 gallery and the blog even though I set them it didn't apply to everything which I think is a pretty big mistake because now I've got to go through and put all that stuff in again which I'm not going to do I'm going to leave that there as a reminder of hey that's not cool because it didn't ask do you want to apply this to everything or not and I would just assume that it would so 
that's not good. Um, actually, changing the font face was not so bad, and it wasn't very hard to figure out how to change those background colors, but um, yeah, for it not to apply to the blog and for it not to apply to um, the photo stuff automatically when it's all based off the same theme, that's not so hot. So this is pretty much a 50-50 experience.